today for the Bitcoin and Shiba Inu prices, believe it or not. Guys, this video is a very big warning to all Bitcoin and Shiba Inu holders, especially for people holding Shiba Inu right now. I will be talking about my Bitcoin price targets because yesterday I was saying, watch this video before Monday. This video is still going crazy. I want to elaborate on what I think is going to happen until tomorrow for Bitcoin. And I also want to talk about Shiba Inu as everyone is going crazy about that right now. Make sure you are watching this video until the very end. I am here wrapping up right now the orange Bitcoin pyjama and obviously I want to talk about everything. I want to talk about my Bitcoin trade. I want to talk about my, uh, my Chainlink trade actually right now. And also what price predictions I am looking out right now for Bitcoin, for Shiba Inu, for uh, Chainlink and for other altcoins as well my bitcoin trade right now racking up 1.1 million us dollars in a profit the chaining trade also still here in a profit and obviously if you want to trade these ones as well make it with a lot of caution only as experienced trader in the pin comment down below for bitcoin and altcoin trading i have provided for you 6,000 us dollars almost for free as free bonuses which at a 20x average is already a hundred thousand us dollar trade for free use these links here if you are experienced in the pin comment section down below now let's go straight straight into the content and i want to start with bitcoin of course right Stick it with me until the very end. So what we are looking at here on the hourly is we broke out from the rising wedge. We hit the price target and are now breaking lower. The question is... What is going to happen to Bitcoin in the immediate short term? We are talking about the hourly, the four hourly, the daily and the weekly. And yesterday I was saying, watch this video before Monday because... Monday is the showdown. I don't expect something very crazy to happen here on Sunday. It is the weekend. Monday is the showdown when the weekly candle is opening. And of course, I want to tell you, are we going lower or are we going higher? There is some, there are some clear indications in the charts which are pointing towards that. By the way, guys, if you are new to the channel, these are my two crypto punks. I always love to flex them. I'm very proud of it. Financially, maybe not the smartest decision, but I don't know, something cool to look at, at least for me. Now let's talk about the Bitcoin price. So here on the hourly candles, let me quickly go over. I have like these, these three screens. Sometimes it's very hard. But what you can see here is this horizontal support coming in for Bitcoin. And as long as we are holding this support, I am not going bear bearish. I'm actually bullish on Bitcoin. But what you can see here, and I want to go over to this specific pattern. What you can see here potentially unfolding is... A left shoulder, a right shoulder, a head, a left shoulder, a head, and of course, a right shoulder. Dear ladies and gentlemen, what this could be could be a head and shoulders pattern. So if we are breaking the bottom here, and once again, guys, I'm bullish because Bitcoin is on the daily actually holding support. I told you that this might be already it at um, at least like the dump that the dump is going to 58 to 61,000. So this so far is holding, not switching the bias on that regard. In the immediate short term, we have to hold this horizontal support though. And if I am going over here and pulling this price target, then you can see, let me pull that price target down, head and shoulders pattern, boom, that this price target is 52,600, 53,000 US dollars. Interestingly enough, you can see that here we also broke support. So on the shorter time frames, Bitcoin is not the most bullish though. However, guys, however, and there is one other thing I wanted to show you. There is another rising... Jeez. One second, guys, if I am pulling this over, sorry, um, here. There is another rising wedge actually for Bitcoin, which you can see right here unfolding. If I am pulling this over and then taking the next line, uh, the support right here, then you can see this is a rising wedge, which also broke. And the price target is the bottom of the wedge at 53,000 US dollars in alignment with this this year. But as long as we are not breaking the support at, let me tell you the exact level, at the exact support at 60,000. As long as we are not breaking 60,000, closing a four hourly candle below, as long as this is not happening, even on the day, uh, on the shorter time frames, I am remaining neutral. On the higher time frames, though, this is where I'm very, very, very bullish on Bitcoin. We had on the daily pattern here, on the daily, on the daily time frame. Sorry, guys, I'm a little bit confused today. We had this rising wedge, right? It broke out, and right now Bitcoin is retesting the support. As long as Bitcoin is not breaking this support at approximately sixty thousand, again sixty thousand US dollars in alignment with this support. As long as this is not happening, we can remain bullish on the daily. Even if we are breaking it, we have huge support, historical support from February, March, April, May coming in. So this one is the last resort for Bitcoin. 
I am remaining bullish on Bitcoin and as long as we are staying above this very important support, I am looking out for 72 to 74,000 US dollars for the Bitcoin price. Not only because of that, but also because on the weekly, we actually just bounced from the 21 week EMA, which every single time 2021, even in 2017, was a very bullish case for Bitcoin. This is what I'm looking out for right now. I will talk about my trade, about future trades on Bitcoin as well. But here I wanted to address every single Shiba Inu holder. If you're holding Shiba Inu. Congratulations to you. Big round of applause to you. But however, guys, let me quickly go over here. I wanted to talk about the chart and something unfolding here, which is telling me I'm not buying any Shiba Inu right now. In fact, if I would be holding Shiba Inu, I would be taking significant profits right now. And I want to show you exactly why. First of all, I wanted to incentivize everyone watching this video. If you watched until here, yesterday's video, 12,000 likes almost. The one before, 10, 12, 13, sometimes 14,000 likes. Let's get it again, guys. Smash up the like button to a new all-time high and share the laugh with your friends. Let's get the MM Crypto family to be the biggest one in the world. So go down below, press subscribe, press the bell and press on all to make sure you are not going to miss out on any future videos. Now let's go into the next one. What you can see here is the four hourly candles on Shiba Inu. This is a symmetrical triangle. So Shiba Inu was consolidating between support and resistance. This was a beautiful pattern to trade. We came directly to the apex and broke out. This was a very, very obvious one. And the thing, the reason why I am here pressing red alert for Shiba Inu right now is that if you're pulling that over, we perfectly hit the price target. So there is, on a technical, from a technical analysis point of view, no reason to go long on Shiba Inu right now. In fact, there is a reason, if you are in a profitable trade on Shiba Inu, to even take profits. And of course, I'm not, I'm not bashing the project, but just go to CoinMarketCap. It's top 11 right now. This is crazy. It's worth billions and billions and billions of dollars. In fact, if I am going over to my Twitter account, I was just posting today. Wow. And once again, congratulations to everyone. Shiba Inu made 6,000% since February. 600,000% since February. This is crazy. I mean, I'm very happy for everyone who made these profits. But do you think after 600,000 percentages... On this altcoin, on this meme coin, so to speak, of course, there are a lot of things happening in the community. I know that this pump is not coming from nowhere, that there are reasons for it. But do you think right now is the reason, is the moment to go all in? It's not about the price. A low price is not indicative for future returns. The market cap is what's important. So this is what I wanted to talk about. Now let's go back here into my trades. And yes, I am still long on Chainlink. This is a very risky trade. However, on Bitcoin, I remain long as long as the bias is not changing. 7.4 million US dollars in this trade, 1.1 million US dollars. And if we are breaking the bottom bottom for Bitcoin. Yes, I am going to take some significant profits here on Bitcoin. However, if on Monday we are getting the long awaited volume supported bounce towards the upside, I am even going to scale up this trade. So if you want to join me here, do it only as an experienced trader. But if you are in the pin comment, once again, just go down below, choose your own favorite exchange. Bybit has the biggest bonus. Click the link, make your own account. And after your initial deposit, you get these bonuses for free. Thank you so much for watching, guys. And thank you so much for your understanding. If you maybe don't like Shiba Inu, if you like it, whatever it is, like this video because I want to address the whole crypto space. And if I can see that something is going completely viral and the risk of a dump is increasing, I want to warn the, MM crypto, the crypto and MM crypto community, no matter whether it's about Shiba Inu, XRP or whatever. Thank you so much for watching, guys. We are going to see each other very soon at the next one of MM Crypto. And as always, guys, as always, bye-bye.